just thinking this morning, just rambling, if you will, that's what I call it, about the things that we adapt to in our minds and try to change who God is into who we want him to be. Been meditating on this all day. And uh, I, I'd just like to say, uh, here, here's in, in Revelation chapter 5 and verse 5, <clears throat> they are witnessing uh, the the scroll that has needs to be opened, and it's in the hands of Jesus. And one of the it says, and one of the elders said to me, "Weep no more. Behold, the lion. Notice that the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered, so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. And between the throne, the four and living four living elder." Uh, Four living creatures, would, and among the elders I saw a lamb standing as it had been slain with seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out of the earth. And he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the four, 24 elders fell down before the lamb, each holding a harp. Gold, um, and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and open its seals, for you are slain, and by your blood you ransomed people from God, for God, from every tribe and language and people and nation. Just a thought here as we as we go along and as we, as we study together. There is a lot of people today who want to see Jesus as the Lamb of God, sweet, innocent, precious. He is all of that. He is the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. He was a sacrifice that is the only blood sacrifice that is available for your sins and for my sins, for payment for what we have done. By accepting that payment through faith, we are able to attain an inheritance in God. It's very important, the Lamb of God. But I don't want to stop there. I want to say also, when he first looked to the throne, what he saw was a lion of the tribe of Judah. We must never forget the same Jesus, Lamb of God is also a conquering lion. He is a lion of the tribe of Judah, and there will be nothing that will be able to stand before him, nothing that will be able to ignore his challenge for the title deed of the earth. And that same lion, if you oppose him, if you reject him, if you do not accept his blood sacrifice of the lamb, then he will be the lion that you will stand before in answer, in judgment. Yes, I believe in the Lamb of God, but I believe in the judgment of God also. I believe in the lion of the tribe of Judah and the same lion that seats the throne is the only answer you have for your salvation. Put your trust in him. Number one, you are a sinner. You've got no recourse. You've got no argument with God. Number two, sinners have to go to hell. You are not made for hell. Number three, Jesus said if we would accept him, confess our sins, and accept him as our Savior, and repent of those sins, and turn around and get away from them, that number four, he would save us, and anyone who calls on the name of the Lord know their salvation is secure. If you've trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior, number one, my, number one question is, are you living like it? Are you living a life that would please Him? Because if we truly trust Jesus as our Savior, then we're going to want to do what He says. And He said, go out into all the world and tell everyone about Him. God bless you.
make that choice today.